Hi there, my name is Rachel Wynn, and today I will be talking to you about the herb Melissa officinalis, otherwise known as lemon balm. Typically, the herbaceous perennial will reach a height of about two feet if properly cared for, and assume about a three foot foliage span at maturation. The deep green leaves are wrinkled and ovate and grow into a four point star conformation. During the summer, the plant produces tiny white flowers where the leaf petiole connects with the stem. Although these flowers are tiny, they serve as potent attractors for bee pollinators. When touched or rubbed, these leaves emit a lemony scent by which the herb received its name, lemon balm. Lemon balm on the left is the sister of the classic mint plant on the right. They both belong to the plant family Lamiaceae. Not surprisingly, the two resemble each other in phenotypic characteristics and edibility. A person could go to the garden, pull a leaf right off the plant and eat it, just as one would do with the mint plant. The difference between the two is that in the summer, lemon balm produces tiny white flowers which can be used as a distinguishing characteristic between the two plants. You know, aside from their smell of course, lemon smells lemony, and mint smells minty. Lemon balm is dedicated to the Greek goddess Diana and it was introduced to Spain in the 7th century. Since then the herb has spread and been established all across Europe as well as the rest of the world. Records suggest it has been utilized for over 2,000 years for reasons such as to improve one's appetite, treat insect bites, and ease indigestion. Today, the herb is exploited for the calming and relaxing effects it has upon the consumer. The herb is known to help alleviate insomnia, while the plant's antiviral properties makes it effective in treating herpes. It has even been used for cognitive improvement in elderly patients suffering from dementia. Although only the leaves of the lemon balm plant are utilized for medicinal purposes, they are made up of over 40 different constituents. Most prominent are the lipophilic terpenoids and the tannins, together which make up a majority of the essential oil typically extracted from the plant. The terpenoids are believed to be partly responsible for the relaxation effects of the herb, controlling different neurotransmitters in the brain and the tannins are believed to be responsible for the antiviral properties the plant possesses. That we know of, no fatalities can be attributed to the overuse of lemon balm. However, there have been a few documented incidences where in conjecture with other medication, the herb has caused some medical issues. For this reason, it is recommended against the use of lemon balm in partnership with any other substances. The effectiveness of lemon balm as a treatment for multiple ailments has been tested on animals and unhealthy human patients. However, research pertaining to this plant has not been quite as extensive in healthy human occupants. Whether the herb has the same effect on all subjects remains largely unknown at this point in time. In the near future, Melissa officinalis could potentially be utilized as an allopathic agent. Allopathy is the chemical inhibition of one species by another organism. A study done in 2003 suggested that the shoe powder of lemon balm was capable of inhibiting the germination and elongation of a few different plant species. This could lead to the herb's application in weed prevention and or agricultural crop densities.